May showers enrich thy happy soil. Fair land, where fanes and towers arise. On thee let sainted pilgrims pour. The richest blessings of the skies. The wave that rounds thy bosom plays. Conscious of its indeed retreat. When the rude tempest rocks thy domes. In sighs resigns its happy seat. Yet urged another glance to steal. Of thy loved form so good so fair. Beerwala is a coastal town located southwest of Sri Lanka. Beerwala along with the area of Gaul is said to be the main location where the original Moors arrived and settled. The coastal side of Beerwala is mainly a fishing community with the fisheries harbor a predominant feature. The new Gaul road which goes through the town has created another business community on the land side dealing in the trade and sale of precious gemstones this activity is clustered around the street known as china fort street the predominantly moor communities living here have several mosques which they use for their prayers probably the oldest mosque in sri lanka the al abra is located just a few hundred meters from the beach it's along this picturesque shoreline do we encounter another mosque steeped in folklore and tradition in the 12th century a sailing ship came ashore these very beaches Beerwala was a popular trading port and center of business at the time. The ship which carried amongst others was the royal family of Hadramaut from Yemen. The Sultan Ash Sheikh Ashraf Waliullah along with his five brothers and sister were welcomed by the Sinhalese king of the time. After enjoying his hospitality, they settled down in the western part of the town of Beerwala. After several years of living a peaceful existence, Sheikh Ashraf Waliullah passed away and was buried in Beerwala. In 1325, at the age of 22, Ibn Battuta, the great Muslim Moroccan scholar and explorer, left his home in Tangier for pilgrimage. While in Ceylon, he visited many cities from the northwestern to the southwestern regions also climbing the holy mountain sri pada or adam's peak and ventured to gaul in the south it's in his writings that he describes ketchi malay as a place located on a hilltop surrounded by the silent sea it was in the year 1882 when the british had occupied the country travel by horseback was common and the then governor of Ceylon Sir Arthur Gordon was making his way to Gaul he was thrown off his horse around Beerwala the horse bolted and made his way via the customs road in Beerwala to the site of the tomb of Sheikh Ashraf Waliullah the horse was said to have been transfixed to this location and the shrine the governor was so moved by this experience that he made arrangements to donate land as a gift from his majesty king george of england the governor bestowed the entitlement of land to khatib sheik abdul qadir bin yusuf as he was the one who had discovered the grave of the sultan ash sheik ashraf waliullah the kechimale mosque and the premises have been under the guardianship of the descendants of this family to this date the kechimale mosque and shrine hold a unique position not just geographically but in the hearts of the moors of sri lanka the mosque is surrounded on three sides by the sea and atop a slightly elevated point on the shoreline
Throughout subsequent centuries, various scholars and personalities moved to create an Islamic renaissance through social, religious and educational reforms. The commencement of the Buhari Muslim Majlish at the Darga saw widespread popularity through the innovative concepts and profound explanations of the hadiths. This also fueled the desire to build a madrasa for Muslim students to be trained as ulamas. Sheikh Abdullah Alim in the mid-1970s called all Muslims to rebuild society on the basis of Islamic principles in order to face the changing times. He also was the founder of the association Isha Atul Islam, a body focused on promoting awareness and social strength. The Kechimale Mosque's other shrine is located outside the main building and contains the tombs of Sheikh Abdullah Alim and his father. Today, the mosque and shrine is akin to a beacon on the shores of Beirut, drawing not just Muslims, but people of various religious faiths. There are many stories and folklore of miraculous outcomes, the result of praying at this revered site. In the month of December, the largest festival of the Kechimale Mosque commences and is a celebration of the Buhari Muslim Majlish and fellowship of Moors from around the country. This month-long festival is attended by thousands, both Muslims and people from other faiths. They pray for Sheikh Waliullah at the tomb and recite the Holy Quran with a view to having their appeals fulfilled and wishes granted. This hallowed site, Ketchimale in Beruwala, is the very site where traders from around the world arrived and entered Sri Lanka a thousand years ago. Mm -hmm.